going to talk a little bit today about the Old Town Herringbone, which is our second of our herringbone stamps. Uh, the other one we have is our paver style herringbone. This one is a little bit more uh, traditional with old rustic bricks. Uh, very common in Europe and still one of the most popular brick stamps that Walt Tools offers. Uh, standard herringbone design. It's a down and back stamp, so again, it's very simple to use. And you're going to start on the edge of your stamps, your, your stamp patio. You're going to set one down with the corners lining up at the edge of your patio. Of course, you'll use your floppy to touch up those tiny little notches there. But then you'll just continue on with your stamping. You'll grab another stamp. Same direction as the previous one. Think of this as an arrow. If the arrow starts to the left, the arrow stays to the left. You'll set that in place. And another. Setting in place until you reach the end of your pour. When it's time to start your next row, you simply set the next one in about the midline point of your previous joint. So instead of going directly up and down, avoid that squiggle and drop it in somewhere midline. And continue on until your job is complete. Okay. And we just want to show you something here. One of the keys I said whatever way your arrow is pointing, you want to maintain that. And I'm going to show you why. We've got these stamps flipped here. The arrow is on the left. If we go to put another row down, arrow on the left, and your pattern comes complete. All right, you have your herringbone pattern here. If you start the next row and you put the arrow the wrong way, the result is going to be a little bit of chaos. Let me tell you why. Zig, zig, no zig. What it does is it extends this row and it's going to create a very funny looking band down the center of your piece. In addition, you're going to have double grout lines here and no grout lines here. So it's going to look very funny. So it is important, whichever way that arrow's pointing on your first row, every row is going to be that way. And as always, when you get your set of stamps in, Make sure you inventory your pieces to make sure it's the stamp that you wanted and the number of pieces that you needed. And remember, the guide to the number of pieces is you want to have enough stamps to go across your pour and then have another stamp to start the next row. So if your pour is 20 feet wide and that's the direction you're going, you need 20 feet of stamps and one stamp to start your next row. Included in all the sets will always be your handy touch-up skin and of course your floppy. Don't forget the touch-up tools, grout rollers that are appropriate, and the, the grout hand tools that Walt Tools offers.